Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the program settings for 250 watt and 500 watt crossbar GeneX e-bike. Uh, this is how you enter the program settings mode. The first thing you do is switch on the display, which is by pressing M button for two seconds. And as you can see, the program settings and everything, the display kind of lights up. To enter the program settings mode in the display, what we do is we press both up arrow and the bottom arrow at the same time for two seconds. And then as you see, the screen starts getting, uh, starts blinking. So this shows P01. If you press M button, it will show P02, then P03. And likewise, it will go to either P11 or P16, depending upon the kind of bike you have. So I'm going through the program settings mode now. Uh, different modes in the instruction manual which is which can also be found on the website um, it's on page number 14 and 15 where you find all the program settings so this is the help center page on the website um, and if you are confused you can always reach out to us to get the access to this help center page and then when we are on this page we scroll down to download user manual we click the download user manual and that's how this is entire 29 pages is the instruction manual for GeneX e-bike and page number 13 to page number 14 this table page number 13 and 14 is what looks like uh, for different program settings and what they actually represent and now we'll be um, showing you the program settings mode on the display and how to configure them So we press both the arrows, the, the top and the bottom arrow at the same time for two seconds. It enters program settings mode. Then P01 is for brightness. We keep it, we can keep it on, if you can see here on the bottom, it goes from one, two, three. Let's keep it at three, the, the highest brightest mode. Then we go to P02, which is for distance units, that is miles or kilometers. 001 represents mile. And if you press once again, triple zero represents kilometer. Let's keep it on miles. Then again, we press M button. Now this one is for voltage. Now this bike is operated on 48 volt. So we keep it on 48. We go to uh, P04, which is display sleep time. So for example, here, after four minutes, the display will be automatically switched off if not operated. Then we press M button to go to P05, the next program mode, and that is uh, pedal assist levels. So right now, this can be set from um, 003, 005, 009. Uh, we set it at, let's say, um, 003, for, which is the most common preferable um, mode. Or even 005, which also customers use it a lot. So let's, let's keep it on 005, actually. We again press M button. It goes to P06, which represents wheel size. Now this bike has 27.5 inches wheel. So this is set on 27.5. We click M button. Now at times what happens is if you um, keep, um, if there are delays in pressing the M button, then the program settings mode uh, gets exited and goes back to the normal uh, display mode. So it's very important that you keep doing it very fast so that it doesn't go back. But in case if it goes back, you can always again press the top and bottom arrow at the same time. P07 is for motor magnet type. Now for 250 watt, we keep it at 1. And if you have a 500 watt version, then we keep that at 5. So on this bike, um, it's P07. And this is set on 1 because it is 250 watt. Let's go to the next one, which is speed limit, P08. We keep it at between 0 to uh, 100 anywhere. We can actually set it at, let's say, 50, 60, or random number. Uh, then P09 is for uh, throttle response. So if you set it on 0, for example, then this means that from standstill, the throttle will work. For example, if I press the throttle, it will start working. Um, if it is set on 1, then it means um, it will be inactive, the throttle will be inactive and uh, it will only move when the bike um, is in motion. You can find all these details in the instruction manual. So 
Um, there's nothing to worry about. You don't even have to remember. Okay, let's go to P10, which is P10. Now, this is set to 2. 2 means both pedal assist and throttle is active. Uh, in the UK and Europe, thr throttle is e illegal to use. So, if you want, you can always set it, and set it on um, 0. So, if you set it P10, if you set this mode on 0, then throttle will be inactive and pedal assist will be active as per the UK. So now we once again go back to the uh, let's say P10. Now P10 was for uh, so it is set on two. You can find the same number on the uh, instruction manual. P11 is set on one. Now this is for number of cranks that is to be rotated for the uh, adjustment of your pedal assist uh, mode on the bike. P12 is set is set on five. Um, you can set it on different numbers, but uh, let's follow the instruction manual. It's on 5. P13 is set on number 12. Uh, if you have some other number, by default, you can keep that number as, as it is. P14 is 15. Again, if you have some other number by default on the bike, you can keep as it is. P15 is set on 41. Sometimes it's also on 39, but we recommend to set it on 41. P16 is your odometer, how many miles the bike has been ridden. So this bike is a kind of a new bike and it's 40 miles ridden. It's all automatically set on 40, 40 and you don't have to do anything. And then uh, the way to exit this uh, program mode is to again press the top arrow and the bottom arrow at the same time and you exit the program mode. And now you can use the bike as it is because all the program modes are set. Uh, just remember that there is only one program setting which has to be different for 250 watt and 500 watt bike and which is P0. 7 has to be set on uh, 1 for 250 watt and P07 has to be set for uh, set on um, 6 for uh, uh, 500 watt bike. Thanks for watching the video and um, I hope you find this information useful when you get the bike for the first time. Um, yep, uh, keep watching our videos and do give us feedback and information whatever is required.